After we've completed going over each of the tabs and filling out the information for the listing, we now want to go to the bottom of the page and we want to validate. So if you want to cancel the input, you can, but we want to go ahead and validate the information. What that button does is that it checks the system to see if all the required fields have been filled out. So if I click on validate, it now shows me the tabs that I still have to put information in. So for example, let's say I go to the interior tab, it shows that I forgot to put the fireplace and then the square foot heated source. So I would go ahead and fill that out and then go to the next tabs and fill everything in. So once I'm done doing that and I've validated that all my information is correct, now I want to go to save as incomplete. Now another reason or another thing that happens when we save as incomplete is that it allows us to add our photos and, and add and edit our attachments. So every time that we're done completing all the information and adding everything under each of the tabs, we want to save as incomplete first, add our photos and attachments, and then we'll be able to submit the listing. And as you notice that you also get an MLS number and that's a permanent number that you get once you click on save as incomplete. So let's go ahead and add our photos. We're going to come to this page where you're going to see a browse button that would take us in into our computer or information. I'm going to go ahead and select some pictures. You can also hold down your control button and then if you're using a Mac you can use your command and then click open and then all the photos will be up uploaded here on this page. On the top it gives you some information, also gives you the pixels and sizes and so forth. And then once I scroll down you'll see that all the images came through. Now you can see that the first slot I have the front of the home and remember you can use the front of the house. You can use an aerial photo or a water view. Now if you do select water view or aerial photo for the first slot then this image must be the second one. The first or the front of the home has to be the second picture if we do add those as the first. So again, um, by clicking on the picture or the image, it'll expand it and then now I can see it more clearly. I can also enter description. So I, if I select enter description, I can put front, uh, should spell it right, right? Front, of the home and then I can click done and then save. Then once I do that I can also if you see if I go to the top of the page here um, it turns into like a little cross that allows me to click and then drag and change the slots so if I wanted maybe the kitchen to be maybe the third slot then I can do that. And then, of course, I can also click on the top right hand corner where it says show photo details. And again, I can enter description and I can also change how it's been uploaded. Sometimes you upload images and they're not on the right way. So this allows you to do that. Okay. So that's how that's done with the images. And again, once we're completed, once you have everything in the right slot that you want it in, now we're ready to click save. And then remember that you can also add up to 50 photos. So definitely take advantage of that. So now we're ready to add our attachment. So right here where it says choose file, I can click on that. That would bring me over to my computer and all the files I have. So I want anything that I have, I want to be able to have it saved in my computer so that I can add it. I'm going to be a PDF. Then you choose the attachment type. So right now I have done an HOA. So I can put HOA disclosure and then you can also type in the attachment description. And now I click on upload. And now I have my information here. So I can type in description, I can also choose it from here and I can also add more attachments. And then once I'm completed, I click on save. That brings me back to this page. 
So once we've completed adding our photos and our attachments, now we want to click on continue editing. Now that brings us back to our page and then we'll go into each individual one if we need to add more. But once we've added our photos, our attachments, we've validated that everything is correct, then now we're ready to submit the listing.